What's up everyone, Son of Beast here, and I'm the Phone 4. This night's of this matchup is about to be happening here for the next game. This time, it's Colorado Avalanche facing against the New York Islanders. This part of the next approachment here as a defending world of the Stanley Cup finalist of the two of Bolts and the Avs. As the Avalanche are the champions, and they're looking forward to come back here and do it again here for the season. But we are not sure what will be happening with the cause in between by the two of the teams in Eastern Conference and Western Conference. Avalanche may be the toughest team here, but we don't know what will happen here. And they are facing against the uh, toughest com competition out there that we have never seen a team like this. New York Islanders. Right now, their home team has bringing things on to a new stadium at the UBS Arena. And yes, that is right. And this is what we called here for back at the Nausea Coliseum. We didn't really know how this all turned out. It turned to be a back and forth games in between. From first at Nausea Coliseum to Barclays Center. And then it was returning home again here for another one to make another team here at the Nausea Coliseum. And finally, the current present year is happening here at UBS Arena. It's in Long Island, and it's a long way to get there down. But well, it's very unclever to find out who will be the next one to get in there. That is right. And we might see what will it be, Avalanche or Islanders. Here are the starting lineups as Meepone will take it over from Avalanche. Nathan Mackinac. Kale McCarr and Miko Rantanen. Three guys are back with the ankle breaking, tape to tape feed, and the uh, sharp cut edges here in between from the uh, timer attackers from of Kale McCarr. Nathan Mackinac can definitely do some little ankle breaking and tape to tape feed here for Miko Rantanen. We're pretty sure how this all turned out, but it might be harder and it turned to be a slight difference in between the two of the players. On the other side is Matthew Barzell and Adam Pelic, along with the player again of Ila Sorokin. The two of them have some cutting edges and some uh, power ranging of the fields here by the, to have that shield protection here for Adam Pelic. We're unsure what could happen here, but they are going to go for it again. Well, there might be tough ones, and I think there might be another way to get these things down. There might be a tough choice there. <laughs> we'll see who can take the win. I bet you would. Now, let's take you down here to tonight's commentary game of Test Tube and Fan, along with Silver Spoon. We'll see you all here for the final buzz sound of the... <laughs> it's the buzz day that we call for a final horn and with that one for the final score of the summary of the game. And let's get this thing on the board. See you all on the post game show. Oh yeah, it's game time everyone. Welcome to the UBS Arena. I'm Test Tube along with Fan and a Center Ice is Silver Spoon. We're happy to have you with us here at the new arena for the season to start. Last season was away, and now let's find out who will it be now. The puck is on the ice, and we're about to get started. A couple players here are playing on the offensive end of the line. And we have over here is, is Barzal. Then we have is Bailey. Then it's Kayla McCarr. And it's Nichushkin. Across on the other angle here is uh, Nathan Mackinac. Sorokin is the, is the starting goalie here for the Islanders, and Matt Kemper is the starting goalie here for the Colorado Avalanche. Now that we are talking about here in between by the players here, they have a lot of different range here by the perfection that they were going for. They're tough to say that there is one way to know how they can get that one thing done. And the one player that we're all going to watch out on is Nathan Mackinnon. We've seen the guy, he is definitely doing great out there with the tough skills here for last season in the playoffs. And to talk about the regular season here, they already have done a well for phase out there to give that one a good credit run. 
We'll see how this one turns out if there's another player up ahead. Here's Ryan today, up across his Immaculate, and a perfect savior by Sorokin. Sorokin with the first savior of the game. Pokes the puck away and goes right over to Lee. Now, we haven't seen the reverse things, and right now, it's their 50th anniversary for the New York Islanders. I know they're all going for anyway, but they are just a good way to get this thing back on the run. I'm pretty sure they could definitely do that one here. We'll see how the Islanders can do for this season to give it off a run. Open shot, pull it! What a perfection! And Nelson will get flicking in! Up starting goal! Now let's have a look here. This one was a tough one because Brock was deflecting right around on Georgiev. And to talk about that one here, I see that Brock Nelson was picking up a number of players of this game. He is perfectionary to give that one an off run of look. And great RA target for Pollock. Islanders, great start here for a 1-0 on one in the game. Now they're up to a second one to try this again. Rebounded up by Palmier. Romanov, Nukov taking over. Lee Conan right over over to Gerard. He goes inside. Saved up by Sorokin. Sorokin is picking up another savior of the game. Palmier with the puck. Takes a look at open man on offense to find another way. Mayfield over to Romanov. Islanders inside, control the puck. Stopped by Georgiev. Georgiev is a, is a tougher player here, replacing by Matt Kemper. And we're not sure what will happen here for Matt Kemper if he's on a different team. We'll have to find out here. There's a choice out to give it a run. Mayfield back on the other side. Moves back over to Ramanov. Now go back to Mayfield. Mayfield shot. Stop by Jorgen. And we got a delay penalty. This one calls for a uh, good on a slash call with the interference. That goes to Gene Gabriel Peru. And that will be the first power play coming up for Colorado. This interference is taking a lot of a moment, and that is not a great sign to give that one to pay to try to stop their run, and that will be a tougher one to try to weak it out. Colorado Avalanche are on the power play for tonight, and right now they have they have their chance out there to try to end the run. McCarr with the and now it's Rantanen. Moose it into Jachushkin. Nicheskin can't live to deliver it up. Mayfield moving it back. Now brings off to McCarr, over to Rantanen. Rantanen moves it over to McKinnon. McKinnon stopped by Sorokin. Sorokin saving enough big moment out there. They're tough to say how this all happens here, but this one is very the tough one to give that one a good run. McConan with the puck. Stick lifted. Nice play on defense. But Cannon couldn't help up to save it to save enough energy. The Conan's got the puck. Colorado and the Avalanche of the territory. The Chishkin up, saved by Sorokin. Sakakis with the puck. Now back to Rentonen. Moving in. Stopped again by Sorokin. Time is almost up. Sorokin and the power play is over. Pig out of the penalty box. He's going in. Backhand stopped again by the defenders. There are tough ones out there. He was all alone and he was going to try to take it over by Pig. What a save made and the players can definitely try to take it over. Icing is the call on Islanders and we got to stop Whistle and Blake. Just enough to make the focus on, but the game, Islanders have a one nothing lead here in the first period. That takes it up with Mayfield holding the cover. New York in the offense zone taking their time. Swings over to Wellstrom. 
Hey, can't able to hold on. Now lowers the coffin. Avalanche inside. Man, it take a deflect off by Pelich. He swings over to Peg. Peg inside. 2 on 1. Oh, what a stop by Diogen. Diogen really got that one, Doug. He's played here with the Rangers, and now he is with the Colorado Avalanche to pick up here once in her timing to get a run. Nelson, oh, he just didn't have enough. No penalty on Colorado yet, and they are we have passed the midway period. Who will ever with the puck? Moves in the middle. They got numbers. Colangano has got the puck here and take it away. Malastive. Inside alone. Tries to take it off the toes. Stop at Sorokin. And then we'll have a dead whistle on the play here just under nine minutes. Both players set here for the faceoff. 1-0 is where we sat here for the first. Islanders win the faceoff. Bouviller in into the corner. Move around the middle. Shuts one. Deflected off by Lee. Lee back over to the road Thompson. Throw it off. Glove saved by Georgiev. And that one was stopped. Pick up a win here in the faceoff. And they're trying to battle up here. Sakakis with the puck. Thompson inside, moving in. Oh, he just had it off. Deflected over, up into the board. That was really tough for that one. I was worried of what was going to happen now. Because of the next one, it was a play. It was not enough to get that one here. A good sign. 2-0-1. Tries again and didn't have the right timing to do it. Hobson moving in. Maltev with the puck's take away. Puck deflected up in the board. Now with just seven minutes left to play. Barzo with the puck. New York back in offensive zone. Romanov playing off to Wellstrom. Wellstrom to Dobson. Islanders are moving the puck here to try to avoid a tackle. Wellstrom up. Deflect in! Not enough to get there right in time. Colorado in the avalanche zone. Stopped again by Sorokin. Romanov and Sorokin will have to try to stop here as the player on in front of him got him caught. Teams are ready to make the face off here. 1-0 still sits inside. The Avs pick up the win. Deep black then. Great job by the Islander defenseman. We a little big banger out there. Trying to be careful with the move. It is true, honestly, that because of that one, it's very tough to keep your eyes on over it. Can't let the players get right into him to try to fool you. Here's Lee inside the long. And Bram takes the puck away. Pelich has got a, has got a puck recover. Nelson, and it's no good again. No open pass look to give off to a good look of a start. He moves inside, going in the middle. Oh, uh, it didn't go well enough at all because the fender really got him. He did, he just couldn't try to save it. Nelson, up, trying to deflect it. It's stopped again by Johnson. Colorado moving inside. Stopped up by Soroka. Now finds over to Palmier. Freaks over to Payne. Back in now is Palmier. Islanders are trying to find a way to try to slam it down and they didn't really want to pressure it. Oh wow, that was a tough one. Pollock outside. Now moves to Palmier. Now finds Payne. Paid with the puck. Finds Perez. Powerys can't be able to hold on to puck. 
We're under three minutes left to play in the first period. Scored up, 1-0 Islanders. Aho on Rantanen. Musa McKinnon locked it up in front. Nice play here on defenseman. He got a lot of stats. Spin the move. In in front. That blocked up in traffic out there. Trying to need to regroup. Rantanen's got the puck back again. Work your way around it. Burrow! Scope saved by Sorokin. Sorokin is really well in phase out there. He might just give it up to a great start to give up a good run of ability. I'm pretty sure he's going to lift it. Shot deflect wide. Avo back the airway to Paul Pollock. Pollock's inside alone. That's taken away by McCarr. Now he fishes up to Colagno. 60 seconds to play in the first period. That's tipped up by the big goalie. Moves over to Bram. Up to Colagno. Shot went very badly for the slap shot for Colagno. Colagno really didn't seem to go right in a good spot of an open look. He needs to try to fix it. Wellstrom saved by Georgiev. Oh, take a smash hit around the board. And alone, stopped up by Georgiev. That first period is end of a great score after Perez and the goal was picked up by both. We'll be right back with a second period. Second period about to begin. Islanders won, Colorado nothing. We're all set to go and let's get the second period started. With a great score in between here from the Islanders with a great look after Polak with the assist to deflect it in by Pelich. How does it really take on with the players that did the most here, Pan? Well, they really got into a great look of the offense. The ability is a no temptation. They might be having enough for one to try to keep it up the range. The other sight is just picking up things right along the board, and there might be another way to go right around it. We'll see how well they can do to try to keep, keep it going. Bailey's got the puck. Kicks it over to Pelich. With a one-time look, badly aged up at the backhand shot. Now goes over to McKinnon. McKinnon inside. Closes up as Pella just gets the puck. Moves it quickly to Wellstrom. Wellstrom's inside. Backhander. Stopped by Georgia. And it'll close up with the just under 18 minutes. Both players set here for the face off. one nothing is where we stand. Yes, pick up here with the face-off win as a clock resumes. Rodrigo is up to Gerard. Up to Laconin. Laconin's in the move. Deflected it and went right into the netting out of play. It was very tough though. Tough plays getting in the way. Both players got a lot of hydration out there. 16 shots on goals as a tiling run to get there done. As right now, Dobson just really need to find somebody else. Parabell, oh boy, two on one. Oh, Georgiev just stopped it again. He was really well out. Nice play by the defenseman of the abs. Parabell up to Dobson, finds over Romanov. Romanov shot. That stop by Georgiev. Georgia still holding on, and without that point, his pressure gave up to a heavy hit on the run. Thompson shot, stopped by Georgia. Right through the chest, and it will stop the whistle. Never plays in the attack. There's still a lot more to get the thing done. Islanders win it again. Brought up by Ragus. Rodriguez didn't really have that one here, but they really just had a lot of timing ability to give that one a worthy run credit for. 
Therefore, they might need to give that one another try to go right back toward it. Player just went badly down. Palmier will try to clear out the ice with a new changeup. Now he goes over to Pay. Pay in the corner now to try to fix it up. Over inside! Stopped again by Giordiev. Just under 15 minutes and he still holds on. Here's a setup look here in between of Georgiev. From last season he was definitely played along with a lots of playing with the New York Rangers. Now this time the NHL has made a contract here to give another good look here in between. And they might be finding another way to get right around it. And with Sorokin, Sorokin has gotten a lot of a great work with credit runs to give that one a great shot on the goal. And saved me by the goalies as much as well they did. We'll see if Sorokin can get another goal to try to pick it up here for a hundred saves here in the game. I'll keep an eye on those two if there's any change up. Back to you. Running in for two on one. Backhand stopped by Georgiev. That gives him a good look of a strain. Players are off to a face-off win. Even up right now, looking for a lead. The Islanders take a face-off lead. Now it's Ajo outside. Loves it in. Shot was blocked. Mayfield up over to Clutterback. Clutterback couldn't find a man opener. McCarr with the puck. Inside. Banged out in the corner of the wall. The Islanders are back in offense zone. Move around the back. Finds over to Pollock. Pollock shot! That is cut blocked up by McCarr and it's taken with him. Bailey has the puck. Need to regroup the males out there with a different look on offense. Sakakis got it back. Clutterbuck inside. Goes right around the board of Bailey. Out of reach and McKenna takes it over. McCarr with it now. The abs are inside on the offense zone. That shot is ticked wide by Rantanen. Rantanen wasn't going to try to pick it up on here, but it didn't really help at all, and he just couldn't try to fix it by himself. Players have a lot of passing effectiveness, and they are trying to keep it up. Players are still ready to get this up. They face off. And now it's an 8 lead here to get that thing done. Barcel with it now. He's pressured in. Moves quickly to Romanov. Over to Dobson. Dobson finds Romanov. Puck recruits here for Dobson to give a new look. While Strom inside. Right around the board. And it's Nuchushka with a puck. Nuchushka to Rantanen. Rantanen with a long deep pass to McKinnon. He's all alone. Sob shot. Awesome stop here by Dobson. And it takes it over the other way. They're really on a hard track. They need that one. We passed the mid period here in the second period. The score's still 1 0. New hook to Rodriguez. Shot. And it's denied by Romanov. Nelson, I'm in rush. Oh, he just didn't have a right moment. Colorado fixing in. Back over again is Ajo. Do over to Billabur. In the corner and inside. Deflected up into the board. Over the crossbar. Sebastian Ajo to lead. Moves it over to Mayfield, back to Ajo. Ajo is still looking for a player to give that one an open look. The feed and the tape. There's so much other to players that they could try to get over and go with a different look. They can't find a man opener. They gotta go with a different look. Nice zone entry here for Pollock. Pollock with the puck. 
over again. Hey, that's defended up here by a, a avalanche traffic jam. Wow, went tumbling down hard. Hunt clears the puck around the board. Now looks over to Pamir. Here's Paige with the puck. Releasing inside. Pollock tries to hold on with the puck. Now finds Lee. Try to whip it around, and it's Hunt with the takeaway. Going from attack is Mount Seth. Moves inside. McDermott. It's not going to be enough to try to take over again on the Islander zone. That may be a tough one. Maybe too hard to give that one a hard stroke. They have to find another way to get over it. Oh, the battle of this range is taking in trouble. Stop by Sorokin. Pellet just got the puck. Now he moves over to Sakakis. In a new zone, Hunt takes it over. Here's Carl Gnando. Played out of the Hunt. Stopped again by Sorokin. Pellet just got the puck saved out and it's clear the other way. Islanders back in the offense zone. Looks over to Pamir. Looks over to Sakakis. That is the fleck out of here. Dobson over to Mamanov. Romanov in it. Stopped up again by, by JR. McCarr with it now. Now it's Copper. Avalanche inside. Finds it and stopped by Sorokin. Palmier up to Bailey. Finds over to Romanov. Romanov and take it back with the offensive look on a strategy run. Conference got the puck inside the neutral zone. Face off in. Take it back. He scores. Comfort ties the game up. It's a 1-1 game. Oh boy, this really has to go with some uh, better offense to give a look. JP Comfort has gotten some pit back in there. He races himself in with the revenge of this game. And he just finally had enough to, to give right back into it. Now they're trying to find a way to take the lead. Ransom it up again. Nutrition stopped by Sorokin. Welstro went badly aged. Bailey with the putt. Swings around. Scores! Bailey! And it's a lead that cuts him off with a 1-1-2-1 one, one one game. What a move by Josh Bailey. And he did have some time out there. So he went right for the net. And it says, we're not quitting and you cannot be stopped out there if you can try to take it down from me. Josh Bailey has 15 goals of the season and he's looking for an way to get right back to it. New York Islanders are in the lead right now with a 2-1 game. And looking in, Nutrushkin's shot couldn't be determined. Marcel with the puck. Now swings over to Bailey. Josh Bailey right over to Ajo. One time shot. Can't be enough to stop for. Great stop here as Borbiller has the puck back. Looks over again. Mayfield right over to Marcel. And it's stopped up again. Matushkin has it back. Lines it over to McKinnon. Toes with the puck. Now has McCarr. McCarr's got it in the offensive zone. That puck is taken away by Barville. McCarr and up to McCarr. McCarr shot. That stopped up by Sorokin. Lee with the puck. Islanders are going back the other way. Just 60 seconds to play in the second period of the game. Looking over Nelson. Shot blocked. Can't find an open man look. They're really off to a good start, but sometimes they're having trouble to keep an eye on the shelter. They immediately, they needed something else to try to go with a heavy runs, and they need some a lot of a assistance to get right from here. GRG with a save. Volvo has it back. Shoots one. That's stopped by GRG. Volvo with the puck. New hook will clear the puck down on the other end. 
Ed Soon and the Islanders done it again. Still in the lead. And we got one more period coming up after the break. Final period left to play in the regulation. We are about to set up and let's see who can win this game. Tag Sub along with Ben and the center ice of Silverstone. Glad you so much you could join us here for tonight. With a tough releasement now, the Islanders are picking up a great run here of the season. And last season was a win off here against the Flyers that picked them up here with a great run of attacker score. Same thing with Colorado throw Avalanche beating the New Jersey Devils. They're really tough ones to try to keep an eye on here. Higher players, higher stack ability, and here's the fun fact. They played here on Colorado since they were Devils. But now, the team has moved over to New Jersey here for just the ninth, in, the, in the 1980s. They really have played here, and sometimes we know we'll have to see for the next game here to suit it up for the Devils and they will be playing against you for a different team. But as you may already know, they are definitely a harder team to give that one the reverse retro. Since back then, for 2023, it's going to be a very tough one here for Season 2. And for New York Islanders, been placing up here since their fan favorite year. But they already lost against the Tampa Bay Lightnings here with a tough round and an angle bench here in the game. I'm pretty sure we're looking for another uh, game for this setup, so we'll have to find out how to see what happens here. Rodriguez with the puck. Stopped up by Sorokin. What a save man. Polak's got the puck now. Now swings to lead. Lee swing back. Boiler with the puck. And he went fiery bad age. And they'll regroup a puck here on offensive zone. Looks over to Romanov. Out of reach, focused. Makar with the puck. He's in the middle right now, entering the zone. Puck goes right towards the board. He passed right over to Dobson. Moves it over to Romanov. Back to Payne. Islanders in the offense zone, take it down, and they were off to a bad angle to try to go with the avoid man tackle. O'Connor with the putt, Sorokin got safe. Now finds Paig. Paig is inside, looking for another man to take the attack. Beats the icing as the play continues. Ajo with the putt, now finds Thompson. Thompson over to Ajo. Releases inside, back to Palmier, up to Dobson. Dobson, unable to find the open man advantage. New play sets here are coming in for the uh, Avalanche. Now they're on to a bare, bare time and angle. Need something else here to give that one a run. Too many bodies in the way as the puck has been dried towards to the right of the board. O'Connor with the steal. Now let's look over to Colando. Martin has the puck back. Cutterbuck's got the puck. Now over to Sakakis after he went down. In the middle. And it went badly. Punch out. Sakakis takes the puck. Now goes back over to Mayfield. Clears the puck down on ice. Now here's Manson. It's got along the board. The Avs picking their way back into the offense zone. Inside down, and it went deflected wide into the net. Point. Stop us, Sorokin. Play continues. New York back in the offensive attack. Looks over to Mayfield, and it went badly backed out, and it's Gerard with the stop of the Islanders' offense zone. They're really trying to keep him out of here. They need to try to go over it. Bailey gets the puck back. Rush on 2 on 1. Good stop by Georgian. And this one is taking out of here with the poke check. 
up along the lane, Garso. Oh, that was a big stump out. And he did not know he was coming out there. They're really trying to focus out there with their attention on the get. They need some help. Wow and up. Great stop by the Jai Georgia. Malsev with a steal. Paul Miller has it back. Nice zone entry here for Aparna. Looks over again, Nelson! And it's had too many bodies in the way as it was taken back. Romanov with the puck. Swings it over to Lee. Islanders are back in the offensive zone in the corner. Lee can't find anybody. Nuchushkin, great stop at the poke. Nelson with the puck. Nelson moves around, inside! And it's saved off by Georgiev. Pilot right over to Bullock. And the penalty is on Colorado. That will be a slashing call on Nuchushkin. The power play's coming. They're looking for a way to keep the run on the deck. That looks like that Nuchushkin was picking up the arm. Try to ball him out of here. He was pushing up here with too much confidence out there to keep it on. Islanders are ready for the power play for tonight. With the penalty kill of Colorado, they're going to try to find it our way to get over it. Absolutely. Bailey over to Pay. Look inside. Stop by Georgia. What a smart move play. Price could have seen that one going, but it was too close to call that one. Still with under two minutes in the power play, and we're just coming down to 8.30 to go, it's still a 2-1 game. Johnson with the win. Clears the puck down on the other end. New line changing up here for the Colorado. And shorthand is off and away. Oh, here comes Bailey. Oh, he just didn't have enough to get over it. What a stop made by Georgiev. Georgiev still saying that he was going to try to pick it up the pace. That was a tough run to make the move. Praise with the puck. Almost but tipped it in. Bailey back to Pollock. Blocked up in front. Oh, he went in. Oh, he just didn't go right in time. It was tearing out and stays out. 30 seconds to play in the power play. Lacanen clears the puck down the other end. Fans are chanting, let's go Islanders. Ten seconds to go, need to make it quick. He has to do it. Lee, save! That stopped again by Georgiev. The main advantage is over. The power play is expired and now it's full strength. Nuchushkin up, who look up? Save me by Shurokin. Shurokin is saving big here. And now here comes Palmer. Palmer has the puck. Looks it over to Nelson. Backhand shot. Loved up by Georgiev. That stops the play with under six minutes. Teams are ready to pick up their face-off attack. Score is 2-1. Colorado might be going for a tie if they want to get it done. Here's Gerard with the puck. Looks over to Rodgers. Rodgers has got the puck here in the offensive zone. Looking over again, and it's now it's Clutterpuck with the takeaway. He moves it around in the corner. Almost went tipped out. And Pollock will have to try to regroup here again. Sakakis buries the puck along the board. Martin's got the puck. No manage advantage here for Nutrishkin. Takeaway over. Now it's Manson. Wanton has got the puck. Now they're looking for a man advantage to try to tie the game. Clutterbuck, right over to Zakakis. Zakakis tries to clutch it back. Manson, boom, that is a takedown. Oh, no penalty every game here for Colorado. Still good on the train. China was still running out there. They're just really trying to pick it up there. Clutterbuck over to Pelich. 
now swings the praise. Page still trying to fight his way. Nichushkin with the puck. Now swings to Manson. And it's McCann with the puck. Stopping over his pullet. In a neutral to face off in the offense zone pullet. Page takes it away. Oaks over to O'Connor. O'Connor moving in. Now finds Colorado. To flick the puck up the defender. O'Connor. Outside. Durant in. Saved by Sorokin. Sorokin is saving big out there. He's really well at that point. Keeping an eye on it. Bailey moving in. Trying to fight for it. And stopped up by the defender. O'Connor to Makar. Under two minutes to play in the second, third period. Looks around. And it's stopped up again. Slicky over by Lakonan. He's going to tie it. And not tonight. It's Pellets taking over and a demand player. No call on the penalty run. This sure do. Here's Wellstrom. And it stayed out. Toes to New Hook. Last minute of play in the third period. Man advantage is about to happen now. Sorokin. Dobson over the ball there. Pellets to Nelson. Moves inside. Around again. Shot. Saved me by Gioia. Pellets to Dobson. And here's a and He's going to take it over. The main advantage is on. Will try to take it? No, he will not. Bolivar up. Pellets. Long shot. And it will not be enough to get over it. Hunt with the puck. Nelson moving in. And that should do. The Islanders take a win on the defending of the champions over the Avalanche. Brock Nelson finishes the game. And with a lockdown on offense, they have it all. Tough plays are coming inbound. That was going to be a Nelson run. And the Islanders are up to a wild defense. It's a tough game to make that one a call with a tough moment out there to at least win a game to finish it all in the regulation period. With that one, it turns out to be the best. Back to you, Test 2. And that's it too. The Islanders take a win here at home with a battling two game in a row. One at home, one and away from last season. The final score is 3-1. Avalanche could have got a chance here to pick it up with a win and try to do it with the top. But this time, it was Islanders. Well, that turned out to be a celebration here for the Islanders. And just only Copper itself with just one. Hello, along with me, a Test Tube and fan, along with Silver Spoon, this has been a presentation of the regulation game of the NHL. Now it's time to send you over to Meat Bone and Son of Beast. Thank you for joining us. See you next time. All right, Test Tube, thank you very much for your support. Here is your look at your box score and summary. The top plays are in the balance with a goal here from another one here from Pellich, and this one has turned out to be a 1 0 game in the first. Second period comes up with a copper goal, a 1 8 goal, and a tie up of the game. But now, this one was broken up. As for this one, Josh Bailey lifting it up strong with a 1 and a lead. And a close a tight game in the run. The man advantage is on for Colorado. But now, Brock Nielsen has pushed him up to hit a two goal spots. This one was taking a great look on the offense skills and pick up of another one of itself. So at that point, Islanders, the victory to take out the defending champions of Colorado Avalanche at picking up a great game here in a regulation period of the night. It is true, the honest opinion of this one was going to be a well ways out there to try to pick up a Colorado tie game. But now, it wasn't here that long, so it definitely turned out to be a lead here in the game. So that was an exciting game of the night. Absolutely. Now let's close it off with three star players of the game with Meepo. 
Take it away. All right. Thank you very much, dear son of beast. The third star goes out with one of our players here in behind. You give that one here a well word for the run. We'll see how this one turns out. And this one is just not going to be a choice out there. Whatever they wanted, wanted to get these things over with, they have a lot of players to get that one. A tough runs and ability in between by the players. The third star. Here's a look here. This one goes out to Brock Nelson with two goals. A great assist here by Pollock and deflected in right toward the net. And that was turned out to be a great deflection and put it back in. The second star goes to Alexander Georgiev. 37 saves. Turned out to be big out there with a tough period of a night. And Elias Sorokin, a save of a night of number one star. Well, two goalies. Can't believe that one. That was turning out to be a big one here like they had it before. And I tell you this one, this was a tough one to give that one a close call here. A lot of hits for Colorado to have it out with the snow avalanche on the Islanders. But the faceoff win has always picked up a close call to the neck. Both players have no extension up here, and they put up a penalty minutes here on two minutes. And with that one, no goals in here between for the power play, in between the two, and no shorthanded goals as well. Yep, that's true. The even out has been lifted too close to call, and that was lifting it too short and too far to go from here. And with that one, this one's a definite, uh, excellent game here for the Islanders. They've won two games in the season against the Flyers and against the Avalanche. With that one, we'd like to thank you all for watching for the second part of the New York and the facing of Colorado Avs of the regulation any game on NHL of Season 2. We'll catch you next time here. As you will see, the third one, the Devils playing against the Columbus Blue Jackets at Prudential Center. We'll see how this one comes up with the next commentary of the night, Paintbrush and OJ. Right now, I will be here to take it over here for the pregame and before. We'll be in the center ice and along the boards. That is right. You'll see how this one happens here if there is a next one coming in. Two tough players are definitely to be honored and try to take them all. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. If you don't, somebody will. And don't forget to follow me on my social media on the go. Thank you for watching and I hope you appreciate this game. With me and me phone, this is Son of Peace. And peace out to everyone for a while as the NHL 23 on EA Sports Style. Thank you for watching and have a great night. Take care everyone. Bye bye. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.